All right, folks, welcome to the laser cutting tutorial. We're going to want to start off with downloading the official template from the GSAP website. Under the resources tab in the menu, you can go ahead and find Making Studio listed as a facility. So click that to find all the resources the shop offers, and you can click on laser cutting. So once you're here, you can scroll down to the tabs, one of which conveniently has a link to download the Rhino template. So download that and use this file to set up all your laser cut projects. Once you open up the file, you can see the template along with detailed instructions about settings, layers, properties, and information about the template itself. Each layer in this file corresponds to a color which represents the different cut settings listed in this labeled box right here. So for laser cutting from Rhino, you want to make sure that the cut layers maintain their correct settings with continuous line type and hairline print width, which this template already has done for you. So before anything, I'm going to indicate my material type and thickness, which is a quarter inch acrylic. And now I'm ready to import my drawing and prepare it to cut. So once you have your drawing, make sure your OSNAP guidelines are on so we can move these lines into the fixed laser bed template. Since my quarter inch acrylic sheet is smaller than the 32 by 18 inch laser bed, I want to make sure that this outline doesn't cut. And you can do this by setting the layers, otherwise your lines will not be processed properly by the laser cutter. So in this case, I can select my outline and put it on the no cut layer. You should do this with any of the lines you want to skip. And it's important to note that the print width for this layer is set to no print. And then I can take my drawing and put that on the first cut layer because I don't want to skip that. Instead, I would like to cut it. And depending on what I want to do with my lines, I can use these preset layers to coordinate with what I want, whether it's to cut, to score, or to lightly etch my material. So it's important to read these instructions before doing anything else. So now it looks like we're ready to print, and it's always good to double check as a last step, making sure the layer properties are correct, the lines that you wanna cut are on the cut layers, the lines that you wanna skip are on the no cut layers, and in this file right now, everything looks good. So we can go ahead and type print in the command line or type control P, which brings up this dialog that has all the wrong options selected. So the printer should be set to PLS 6.75, which is the laser cutter with the landscape orientation. And since we're cutting lines, the output should be set to vector and either display or print in order to process those colors. Next, you wanna open up the scaling option and set your window to the 32 by 18 bed size that the template already provides. Again, make sure your OSNAP guidelines are on to make this step a lot easier and way more precise. Once your window is set, you can say no to this because we want to set it with a one-to-one -one scale. And you can see in the preview that the only lines visible are from my drawing on the cut layer with no sign of the outline. So now you can press print and click this little arrow in your taskbar found in the bottom right of your screen to open up UCP from the little red button. And you should see your drawing in the software. And at this point, you just need to configure your settings by loading the material ID into UCP. So once you open up settings, click load and a list of materials will pop up. And here's the quarter inch acrylic that I can open and you can see how the settings have changed to correspond to the layers we saw in the Rhino template. Everything looks good, so I can press OK. I can check how long the print will take, which is 12 minutes. And once I have my Z axis set up on the laser cutter, I would press print with this play button and try not to stare at the laser as it cuts my material. So there you go. Congrats. You're a laser pro.